Hello and welcome to Circuit Media Youth Circus at Home. I'm Alan and I'm going to take you through an introduction to basic juggling and balancing. So today we're going to start learning to juggle with scarves. Juggling with three scarves looks a little bit like this. But obviously that takes a little bit of practice. So today we're going to focus on two scarves. To do that we're going to have a quick look at one scarf and we throw it and catch it like this. So we throw it up in the air with one hand and then claw it down with our other hand. Now with two scarves what I'd like you to focus on is making an X shape with the scarves in the air in front of you. So they cross over and then we claw them down. We're not juggling in a circle or a triangle pattern like this. We're not going throw, pass, throw, pass. We're going throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. It doesn't matter which hand you start with. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. What we're really looking for are two throws and that lovely X shape in the middle. Now, I've got juggling scars here, but you mightn't have those at home. So, you can try it maybe with some tissues. Clean, of course. Or, you can even try it with some shopping bags. Stop juggling. So, we also juggle with juggling balls. And hopefully, you've learned how to make some at home. Juggling with juggling balls is slightly different. We hold our elbows in and have our hands palm up like this. And then we do a little scoop motion. And let the ball fall into our other hand. So we're not reaching up in the air to catch it up here and then bringing it down. We're letting gravity do its job. The ball goes up, comes down, lands in our other hand. If we have to move our empty hand in and out or around a little bit to catch, that's perfectly fine. But we really want to keep our hands down around the same level as our belly and let the ball do all the traveling. And then with two, it's exactly the same as we just looked at with scars. One, two, catch, catch. A little bit faster. One, two, catch, catch. Then we had with scars because the balls move quicker. But it's really important that we still get that same X shape here in front of us and we keep our hands down around our bellies. One, two, catch, catch. Just like that. So that's the boring technique side of things out of the way. Now it's over to you to get on with the practicing. The next thing we're going to do today is learn how to balance an object. I'm going to start by balancing a peacock feather. Now the best place to balance something when we're learning is either in the center of our palm or on one of our fingertips. I'm going to choose the center of my palm. So I put my hand out really flat, I put the feather right in the middle of my palm and then I look at the very top of my feather. Because when we're balancing something, we always look at its highest point. So using my other hand, I get my feather as straight as possible. And then I gently take that hand away. And then I follow the top of the feather with my eyes. And if the feather falls over, I move my palm underneath it so that the feather is straight again. So every time the top of the feather moves, I move my palm so it's underneath the top of the feather. Always looking at the very, very top of the feather. Now, I'm lucky enough to have peacock feathers here to balance, but if you don't have peacock feathers at home, you can balance anything really that's a straight, long object. If you want more of a challenge, a wooden spoon is a good one. The shorter something is, the more difficult it is to balance. So again, I look at the top, I get it straight, and then I move underneath the top of it to balance. Just like that. Now, I'm going to pass you over to Tom for some more balancing. Hi guys, it's Tom again. Now, learning to balance things on your face can be a really good way to pass the time when you're tragically unable to attend your regular scheduled Circa Media Youth Circus class. And there are all kinds of household items that will make perfectly good balancing props if used correctly. Wooden spoons, cardboard tubes, brooms, cricket bats, even a frying pan can be a serviceable balancing tool. However, gaffer taping a video camera to the end of a broom and trying to learn to balance that on your face is something that you should really only ever do if you own both the video camera and the broom. Or if you're just really sure you're not gonna get caught. First of all, 
I make sure no one's behind me. Then, I place the tip of the broom on my nose. I look up at the very top part of the object, in this case, a video camera. And when I'm ready, I let go. And wherever the video camera starts to move, I follow it with my whole body. And then, I quit while I'm ahead. Three more weeks. That was our introduction to juggling and balancing videos. Over the next few weeks, there'll be lots more videos and activities going up on our website. So remember, keep checking them out and do try this at home. Do try this at home.